for me being the best, you have to believe there's something within you. There's a lot of external rewards in life, you know, whether it's money and, and fame and, and notoriety and, and all these things. But those things, as quickly as they come, they can be gone, just like that, you know. I was on top of the world, you know, big money contract, you know, <clears throat> you know, married to I think is the prettiest girl in the world, kid on the way, you know, you know, without a doubt, we are the most dominant tag team in professional wrestling today. I mean, our record speaks for itself, and I jump off the top rope, and everything changes. All those things can be taken away from you. Even your ability to be a man, which is to care and provide and work, can be taken away from you. So for me, being the best is you have to believe there's something within. And I said this on my very first interview in wrestling, and it's even more so true than ever before. I have greatness within me. And I know that. I've known that for a long time. And I don't know. I don't have words to, to convey that message to you, or, or a sign to show you, or a nice fancy shiny award. Um, what I got is I got a lot of surgery scars. I got a lot of broken bones. I got a lot of torn ligaments. I got a cauliflower ears. I got chipped teeth. I got concussions. And all that are my badges of honor to say that I'm going through you now the war that you have to go through within yourself and outside to be the best because I know I have greatness within me and I'm going to do whatever it takes until the rest of the world shares my opinion. Good work. Dr. Linnaeus is the best. To be great, you have to be a little bit pathological. And, you know, I definitely fall in that category. You know, I think my tag partner would attest to that, that I, I am obsessed. You know, I am crazy. Uh, for me, it goes very deep. You know, I, I come from nothing. You know, I come from a small farm town in absolute poverty from the middle of nowhere, that, a town, you know, a place no one's ever heard of and no one ever, is ever going to go to. And I left that. You know, I, I packed up all my stuff and, and slept in my car for a year in Atlanta uh, to go get trained to chase this. And, you know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not done yet. So, you know, for me, getting in a car and driving and coming out here and doing all this stuff, and I'm, I'm used to setbacks. I'm used to, you know, having the odds stacked against me. You know, I, I'm very comfortable being the underdog. But um, I'm not chasing fame. I'm not chasing a big paycheck. I have no interest in any of that. I, I, I'm chasing rebuilding my family name, you know. I'm chasing, you know, I'm chasing greatness, you know, and greatness is born in places like this because that's where you're going to be tested and we're going to find out who really wants it or not. Rotations are next. So all you do is turn your hips, right? So all you're gonna do is pivot your knees and turn onto the side of the ball mm -hmm. and you turn over. Okay. Right? So I'm not worried about anything that's going on with my upper body. My legs are turning, everything's going to my side. You know, honestly, uh the wobbler, uh I that strider thing. I would light fire to if it wasn't metal because I should be able to do that and I still can't figure it out. Uh, it, it, it's learning how to walk again, it really is. Um, I, I think the wobbler, it's funny, you know, I was watching the videos before I got here of that thing and I was like, oh, that was ridiculous. And now I'm here, you know, buying one. <laughs> you know, so that just tell you something. Uh, yeah, it, it's weird how you feel things that haven't, you know, you know, we, they use the term fire, but you know, I haven't felt the muscles moving the way they should in like unison, and, you know, synchronicity for years, you know. I, I, it, I can't believe I've gotten by on what I've gotten by on, you know. Um, I haven't, man, I haven't felt like a complete athlete since Ring of Honor, you know, and uh, it's and that's been a while, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, everything here is exceptional. There's not one thing I've done here I haven't been challenged on, but uh, yeah, I definitely like the wobbler, and um, I think I just like the science and the concept because you really do feel everything, and like, I, you know, I'll come here and I'll see other people doing, you know, really cool stuff, like, oh, I'm going to go do that, and it's like, oh, that's how I got hurt in the first place, you know, just follow directions and uh yeah i mean it's it's pretty incredible i mean so incredible that i'm really going to drive home tomorrow and uh bring my wife to come back in three weeks 
and I'll come back every month for the rest of my life. Um, as, you know, as long as they'll have me here, as long as I wrestle. So, uh, you know, I'm I got a customer for life, and it's you know, worst I got to do is drive nine hours, no problem. That's amazing. Mm. Point to the camera, say, join the revolution. This is Davey Richards from TNA Wrestling, telling you, join the revolution. Uh, the no, we got um, like the we got the Bosu, the Wobbler. Yeah, no, I haven't tried that yet. Okay. But he's he, I, I've seen the videos and I've seen him on it too, and he said it's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and I think that um, a lot of athletes and, and maybe just wrestlers in general think that well, you don't rehab or do physical therapy until after you're hurt or after a surgery, and it's like no, you can actually do it beforehand to actually prevent getting hurt instead of just going to the gym and doing bicep curls and you know doing like your weightlifting and stuff like that. It's like with sports and being an athlete, there's it goes far beyond the realm of just lifting weights.